All right, in two custom packs for another build request. And I was originally keeping track of who submitted every request, but at this point there have been too many and uh, I'm just going off the pets. And this one is Elephant Armadillo Piranha. So Piranha behind Elephant gives lots of attack to the, the team, while the Armadillo is gonna give extra health at the start of battle. Of course, Armadillo does give health to the opponents as well. So hopefully that's not gonna cause any problems, but um, I, the principle makes sense, at least equalizing stats on the team and then having units that benefit from the extra attack from the Piranha. So stuff like uh, Rooster, um, Warthog, there are lots of pets in the game now that uh, multiply their effect based on their own attack. So here I sell the Badger after one turn just to make sure that the Lettuce buff goes to the Elephant. And then we'll hold the Cappy and um, I'm gonna hold both of them. Uh, yeah, because we're looking for Armadillo, uh, Rooster. There's a few things on tier five that we're looking for. So we're just gonna hold that for next turn. And we also get the Sea Turtle level up, so that's nice. Uh, here's the person that, that I mentioned before who was going for um, uh, stoat cells only. So turn five, they would have a whole team of stoats and sell them all and then try and win from there, which uh, I hope they manage to do in the end. And if they get the level two starfish, they've got a decent chance. So double level up, we do get rooster and armadillo, but we also get double alpaca. And two level one alpacas kind of works like the old alpaca, except they only have uh, one trigger. And um, the old level two alpaca rather. And opposing elephant with toad, but I think we're just gonna have enough here. Yep. So alpaca, we can sell rabbit, sell sea turtle, I think, or maybe sell the other capybara and then bring in, um, okay, we're gonna sell three things and bring in the turtle. Maybe I should have taken puppy here for the uh, the weakness on the opposing team, but we'll go the traditional route and take the level two turtle and it gives us another alpaca. So we have to wait till next turn to try and get another uh, level two, but in the meantime, we'll move the alpaca up so that the elephant is hitting something weaker. We are gonna lose the melon from the, the second melon from the turtle, but not too big a deal. Here's another team that I faced many times in this uh, recording session. They've been in another, another video, the uh, the one big duck team. So I guess that uh, dates this recording. It was probably at least a week ago now. And there we get Rooster with the Cappy buffs. So we'll take that straight away and level to it into Gorilla, which is another option for a pet that can benefit from high attack. If we um, give the Gorilla pepper then we can um, possibly get multiple hits with the coconut with a high attack and I think here I'm just going to pill the turtle now uh, even though we're at risk of losing the melon from the elephant maybe I could have put rooster at the back but you're probably going to lose the melon from uh, from snipes anyway so I'm not uh, too concerned about it probably give up on the extra alpaca here and freeze gorilla and then we just need armadillo to complete the combo uh, the same team with the elephant plus uh, toad is going to result in the piranha getting killed quicker than uh, expected but it doesn't matter we uh, have enough attack and health on the rooster yeah i could have taken orangutan here because then that would guarantee the piranha um, ends up with uh, more health and can survive a bit longer but I'm going to take Gorilla, sell Alpaca, and then buy the Armadillo. Extremely rare to see an Armadillo purchased on this channel. Although you can see that our stats are extremely poor for this late. Um, but the health is going to mean that the Elephant is going to get multiple attacks and trigger the Piranha multiple times. And so you can see at the back the Gorilla is now 38 attack when the Piranha is done there. Fainting, and uh, it wasn't even necessary in this particular battle but we're going to face a um, much sterner opposition pretty soon there is double warthog there which is um quite uh, interesting you know you could replace the gorilla with warthog to give extra stats to the rooster but 
want really wanted to try and work Gorilla in there somehow. It's um, a pretty rarely seen unit these days, I think. And this is another team that was in a video the other day. I think uh, I showed a clip of the uh, hyena um, reordering this team and then putting the crane back behind the um, uh, the guinea fowl. And the coconut does get to activate twice, which is very nice. And we win as a result. So really, there's the pepper. We'll get the pepper onto the gorilla. And now we're just looking for levels on the elephant. We can also take pita bread. So if I put pita bread on the piranha, the first hit from the elephant should activate it. And then that will give us a bit of leeway so that we don't end up removing uh, our own melon again. Of course, the elephant doesn't really have particularly high stats and front melon is so likely to get removed these days with woodpecker and mantis shrimp. So maybe I should have uh, given it a lemon or something instead. But again, we're going to have just enough. Well, the coconut wasn't required. So looking for a level on the armadillo, we also really want um, you know, a, an elephant that is above level one to actually see the full effect of the combo. Uh, maybe going to have to wait for it though. Lionfish jelly <laughs> clown. Uh, I can't remember the outcome of this battle. We are going to lose the melons, but we are going to get an, a couple of extra triggers from the uh, piranha. And then we activate coconut and get the draw. So that was... Uh, I was very happy to see our low stats team come out with the draw there. So we'll take the level on the elephant. I don't know if it's better to take the level on the armadillo there or not. But we'll just buy um, popcorn since uh, the pita on the armadillo maybe isn't going to be worth it. Uh, rhino tiger, very common to see. The rhino is just going to activate the piranha extra times. And then we get two more um, buffs. So everything goes to 50 attack. And uh, we're just going to destroy the remainder of their team. So we're on to nine and we've got four hearts still intact, which is um, kind of unusual. And look at the stats on the team, they're just terrible. The armadillo is still base stats and the piranha is actually base stats as well, I think. So yeah, <laughs> this is pretty funny with the, uh, the, the three squad, a very strange team to end up with. Um, you know, level two boar, uh, scorpion, big scorp, and um, level two saber. The uh, yeah, we're not going to quite have enough here. Saber tooth with one up is uh, kind of ridiculous. So we're almost at level three gorilla, although it's probably not going to have enough health to realistically trigger three times. Uh, yeah, so we'll use the chocolate on the rooster instead. Probably more sensible. Another huge scaling team. So me giving them health doesn't really matter, but they've got virtually 50-50s across the board. And yeah, Rooster's going to get instant killed through the melon. Gorilla will activate and trade here. But Armadillo doesn't have enough to beat that team. I see that person so often now. We get the level 3 on the Rooster. We're running out of lives though and it's turn 17. So we need a pretty awful opponent at this point. And the matchmaking dredges up a free-to-play level 3 bus team. And so the elephant's going to trigger a couple of times. The piranha's going to trigger again. We're not quite up to 50 attack, but the swan can't kill through the melon. The gorilla is poised with the pepper. One shots the bus and the monkey. So there we go. Armadillo, piranha, elephant, and almost no scaling whatsoever in that run.